Welcome back to Kimchi Rednecks. So today we are going to get into one of my favorite delicacies, although it's not really a delicacy, of dining in Korea. So there is a thing in Korea where they will combine words to make a new word. And that word sometimes means something awesome. So <laughs> we've got fried chicken. Which is awesome in itself. Which is awesome in itself. Which is just chicken. I'm sure there's technically a Korean word for it, but if you just say chicken, they know what you mean. In Korea, you have beer, which is mekju. So if you combine chicken and beer, you have chimek. Mm. Chimek is awesome. Now, most people will tell you that most Korean beers are kind of, kind of light and tangy, kind of bitey. There's a purpose for that, because fried chicken... Is savory and a little oily or a little it's, greasy. It's kind of like they give you the the moo. Yeah, they give you the moo, which is a uh, pickled radish and vinegar, which I don't like. Which she doesn't like. But when you're eating the chicken and you're drinking the beer, the beer is just kind of effervescent and cutting enough to cut through the heavy taste of the chicken. Now, another thing they do in Korea is soju, and you can mix soju. And mech you and get so mech. Oh, hold on. Which kind of like a Korean boilermaker. So, if I mix soju, mech you, and chicken, I could have so chi mech. So chi mech? Well. Because that's chi mech. But you put the soju in the beer, so I think it's going to be more chi so mech. Okay, chi so mech. We're not sure we that's a real word. I asked one of the Korean guys I know about it, and he said that wasn't really a thing. So. <laughs> We're, we're making it we're, one We're today. making that a thing. We're, we're claiming that one. So soju, for those of you who don't know, is an alcohol that is a little bit... So you know how they say sake tastes like hairspray? Also hairspray? It's an acquired taste, and if you're in Korea, you have to acquire the taste. The good thing about it is there are multiple tastes you can acquire. There are flavors. And the flavor ones, honestly, are a lot easier to drink than the original. So this is the original... And it's a liquor made out of rice and barley and wheat, I believe. I'm something, something, I'm not sure. Something along those lines. Basically, well, it's Korean vodka. Yeah. So we're going to open that. I'm also going to enjoy our, enjoy our anju, See which is the snacks you get while you're drinking. These are just kind of little Puff rice dinner. puffs. They're, it's an anju, which just means a food that you eat while you're drinking. Technically, a cheeseburger or a steak can be anju if you eat it while you're drinking. So it's not like beer nuts or, or just something like that but these are a nice snack they're light and fluffy all right so we're being real redneck because the only the only clear glass we had the only clear glass i have is a ball jar but also we have a we have a beer mug but it's really huge yeah so. I, don't, I don't need a stein for this so chuck is going to go ahead and pour his beer while i eat some tater so, pot there are multiple brands of beer in korea this one is one of the originals height height so the original three that most people will think of are going to be Height, OB, and Cass, I think. I'm going to pour that much for now. All right, so can you open that? Because I, I know there's a specific way you open soju, and I do not know. <laughs> so if you're drinking, if you're opening it like you're out drinking, let me see if I can remember how this is. Uh, you got to turn it upside down. you to spin it so you get the cyclone. Tap the bottom, and then you pop the top. And then there's some drinking game you do with the tech cap. But yeah, I there's some drinking that. game where you... you Peel those up, and then you're supposed to flick them off or something, but... All right, so are you going to do a shot of this before you put a shot in your beer, or how's that going to work? I don't know. Do you want to taste it before you try it in a beer? Might as well. All right. All right. I know what it tastes like, but... John, Jungle. right? It's rice water. Honestly, I like Macaulay better, which is rice wine. All right. Anyway, you got height. Oh, I guess I have to taste height too, don't I? I gotta get the taste of soju out of my mouth. I was gonna say, let me get the taste of soju out. Is that what your anju is for? <laughs> mm. So anyway, height at a rough taste. It smells like beer. Is kind of your Miller Lite of Korea. It's about the closest thing that I would pin it to. Yeah, that's beer. And then you've got... You drop a shot of soju in your mekju, and you have somak. Which I've never tried, actually. <laughs> Swirl it around a little bit, just to make sure it mixes. You don't want to kill all the bubbles, though. No. And how is your somak? That is somak. 
So it still smells about the same. The soju kind of kills some of the bite of the beer. It does. But the beer um, lightens. It, it kills some of that. I don't really want to call it chemically, but it, that kind of harsh aftertaste of the soju. So that is why they mix those two. They kind of balance each other out. So what we have here tonight is dinner for Mr. Chicken. Thank you, Mr. Chicken. Mr. Chicken is one of our favorite places to eat. And since the uh, the cases have gone up again and they've told pretty much all, all of everybody to stay at home and don't go out, we're ordering food from some of our favorite people. To offset the times that we're not actually cooking our food. Because they need money. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing I think a lot of people don't think about is how hard this is for some of the... This is a really big piece of chicken. This, this is a big chunk of chicken. <laughs> I don't think people think about how hard it is for the small businesses to stay in when everybody's staying in and trying to keep the spread out. We also have to remember to grab takeout and grab delivery when we can because that's how our favorite places stay around. And that's my plan. Keep the favorite places around. Hmm. Now, we went with Mr. Chicken today instead of doing a new one for you guys because we know Mr. Chicken. Mm. We like Mr. Chicken. Mr. Chicken? Mr. Chicken has never let me down. There's a reason they called us fool Mr. Chicken. Mr. Chicken used to be in a little tiny, I hate to say shack, but it was kind of like a little shack. Back in the day. Over where we used to live. And they moved into the newer spot and where it, you'll it see really, in the video because we'll post a link to the video. It really was a little shack that you'd walk in and it looked like it had been there since the 50s. And he had maybe three tables about this size. <laughs> you said he had no room to move. Yeah, and you barely had any room to get between those tables, much less anything else. Another reason we love Mr. Chicken is because if Chuck calls from our phone, he remembers our order. Now, we don't eat Mr. Chicken every week, but sometimes we can actually go a whole month without eating Mr. Chicken. Mm. So it's kind of mm. amusing that he remembers because I guess his computer oh, I'm, I'm brings pretty, up... I'm pretty sure the computer remembers my number. But still kind of awesome because once we said we wanted something different, and he was like, are you sure? Yeah, he, he literally like, that's not what you normally order. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> so we love Mr. Chicken. We also love that he sends this nice little thing of fries and tater tots together, which is awesome. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Makes my inner five-year-old happy. In case we randomly change clothes in this video, I'm going to warn you up front, this one's going to take place over several dinners of fried chicken because that's such a hardship. But... I just got more excited about this series altogether. We're going to go through and we're going to show you some of the more common different kind of beers you can get in Korea. So, next up on the list, another one of the originals, one of the OGs. This one is OB. OB. Are you also going to put soju in that? Well, we're going to taste it first. Anyway, I'm going to try and stick to like two at a time because there's no reason for me to get hammered doing this. Well, I mean, I could. But. Well, and there will also be a separate soju video at some point. So, if you see this clip in another video. That's where, the, that's why that's it's there. Why. I already have a little flush coming. What does that mean? Lightweight. <laughs> I don't drink that much. I'm trying to see what this pairs to in my mind as to like the closest American beer I can think of. I'm thinking kind of Coors Light maybe. So this is your Coors Light version? It smells like beer. <laughs> Big surprise. I drink a lot of beer. Can you guys tell? Actually, I think you're right. That is more Coors Light. I mean, pretty much every one of these beers is going to be a, like a Pilsner style, style beer. So Chuck is not a craft beer kind of guy. I mean, some of them are all right. Some of them, I think, are a little too hipstery. I mean, you're like... Well, and I mean, look at him. He just screams hipster. Well, you get some of those guys that get so far into it. And it's like, if you don't have nine different kinds of hops and just the right, you know, amount of barley to something else, then you don't know how to make a proper craft beer. Dude, if it tastes like piss, it tastes like piss. It doesn't matter how many different kinds of hops you got in it. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Chuck. I've had some, I've, I've met some people that were like that. Like, oh, you've got to have this, that, and the other and something. You taste the beer and it just... Tastes like warm piss. It's, mm. No, dude, you're just wrong. All Here's right, your, so. Your Obi Somek. So, did you like Height Somek or Obi Somek better? As a beer, I like Height better than OB. As a Somek, I like OB better. And why? The two meld together a lot smoother. Oh, that is much smoother. You still get the bite of the beer. Like, there's still a bite. But 
height and soju were two separate notes, whereas obi and soju are one it, note. It just turns into one drink, yeah. It's one drink. There you go. Now you've learned. This is why we're delving into the depths. These are important things that people need to research and people need to know. Of the Korean Chibak scene. Yes. So, we will magically come back to you probably with some different shirts on in just a couple seconds. A few moments later. I don't know. I'm thinking we should do another shot. Just a note. We found out later on after we started. I bought the red top. So... We've been told in Korea that your normal one is going to have a green top. The red top is going to be like a medium strong. And then apparently there's like a black top or something that's really hard to find. Oh, good. Because I don't want to have to go searching for that one. No, I'm not, I'm not going to find that one. Hey, I've had Somek and, and Chimek and Somek and oh, look, you didn't Soju. And... Look, you didn't finish it all. Yeah, but in there. Huh? <laughs> oh, you don't want it to go to waste. We're working on a series where we review the flavored sojus and we talk a little bit about soju and we're reviewing the different beers, but we also have the wines, which oh, yeah. there are several flavors of Mikoli, which is the rice wine. Alcohol of Korea. We also have Bakbunja, which you've heard about before, but we have another bottle of that. And then we have a bottle of ice apple wine from a Korean apple place that I'm super excited to try that I got given as a gift. <clears throat> Anyway, see y'all later. All right, everybody. We're back again. You can tell I've changed my shirt. That we did not do this all in one night. That would be a lot of chicken and beer. Especially since Melissa was a little bit buzzed after the soju and beer. <laughs> we are eating once again a fabulous assortment of fried chicken. From Mr. Chicken. From Mr. Chicken. With his french fries and tater tots, which are awesome. This time our chicken that we got is just his plain regular fried. fried chicken. But he's really, really good at plain old fried chicken. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. This it, it smells like fried chicken. I don't know if you've ever been a place where you go in and the only thing you can smell on the fried chicken is fried breading. You can't smell the actual chicken. You can't smell any any pepper or, or seasonings or whatnot. This smells like chicken. Chicken. I'm gonna try some chick flakes sauce on the chicken. It's just good chicken, y'all. Mm. If he had a commercial that was well, at least that we knew about that should be the tagline it's just good chicken that and there should be the sound of that crunching because this was just delivered like a little while ago i mean really <laughs> asmr lap to continue the exploration of our redneck beer section which we were thinking about it and we should probably mention that fried chicken and beer is not just a korean thing right no, it's totally a redneck are thing. totally known for that as well so this fits perfectly within our paradigm. So next up on our list of common beers is Tass. This particular brand of Mekju is very commonly found on tap at pretty much everywhere. And as per last time, we do have our soju for our... Now it's the same soju, so we don't have to taste it again. It's just there for yeah. making the Somek. Yeah, that might've been what got me in trouble last time I was having to that's, taste it. That Somek snuck up on us hard. We'll let the head on that clear for a second. So. It's a nice pilsnery color, fairly clear. It smells like beer. <laughs> I would hope it smells like beer. So I'm gonna be the test person on this one because I don't drink nearly as much as Chuck does, but Chuck says that Cass and Bud Light are pretty take, really close. Take take a take a little sip of that. I apologize for the gargantuan can of Bud Light there. That's the only one we could find that was a single can. Okay, let me get some water in between. And a tater tot. I cleanse the palate. Mm. Probably should have drank the soju that would have cleansed it faster. <laughs> okay. Palate is cleansed. It smells very much like it. If I were blindfolded, I couldn't tell the difference between the two personally. It's really It's similar. really close. It's very similar. So definitely Bud Light so and if Bud Light is your jam, Cass is the one you want. So now to so mech it. So make it, make it so. That was the Hulk shot. Mm. So if there was a weird alternate universe where Yoda was swapped with Captain Picard, we'd be like, mm, make it so, <laughs> so make it. <laughs> You're so bad. I am such a turbo nerd sometimes. You're my turbo nerd. It may just, let me refill a little bit there. That <laughs> might just be the proportion of soju to beer in that one. 
I also decided after our last one that I probably need to put a little more food in my belly while we're drinking. <laughs> yeah, starting a drinking tasting thing on an empty belly, probably not our best idea. Okay, it's not just the original proportions we had there, but that one you can, the soju clearly cuts through the, the beer. Cuts through it how? It's going to taste like soju with a, with a mekju chaser. So if you're looking for soju with a mekju chaser. See, I got a little bit of bubbly, and then I tasted straight soju, and then there was a little beer on the back end of it. That's basically what I just tasted. Hmm. So, not bad straight if you're, if you're used to drinking Bud Light. Not really the one I would choose to, to make so mac. Next, from our selection of beverages is Terra. I've personally never had this one, so this is going to be a learning experience. Mm. Or at least I don't know if I've had this we one. We know I've never had it. It's very possible I've just ordered Mekju somewhere and, and been given it. And Mekju Juiceo is like, just give me what's on tap. It has a very strong urinary color. It's very yellow. It's very yellow. But then again, I find most beer very yellow. Well, some of it is amber, some of it is mm, yellow, sure. some of it's relatively clear, it's very pale. This one tastes a bit more IPA-ish. It's got a little bit more of a bite to it. I don't know of a, of a domestic brand right off top of my head that's very similar to that one. I mean, if you squint your eyes and hold your head right, it could kind of taste like a Mickey's, but Mickey's is a little more sharp. Hmm. I don't have a brand that I can really kind of associate this to in my head. There may be one, but my select my knowledge of domestic beers isn't all that wide. But I'd say if you like either a sharp pilsner or a IPA, this is probably in your lane. Now let's so make it. Make it so. I'm just gonna start saying that in the Yoda voice. Mmm, so make it. <laughs> Get a little swirl on it. Minimu's watching your swirl. Are you watching my swirl? Like, everybody's watching my swirl. I can't see the others. But I can the see other Minion. two are sitting right there staring up at me. Minion went for the comfy seat. Smart girl. <laughs> His faces sometimes make me not sure I want to take a taste of it. <clears throat> so, interestingly, it is both really good and not as a Somek. Initially, it tastes like it blended pretty well. And then you get the, the, the hoppy bite back, and then the, so, the flavor of the soju rolls in. So it like merges, and then you get one and then the other. I agree with that. So far, out of the four that we have tried, I think the best merge has been OB and soju. Yeah. O, OB so far has made the best, the best Somek. Mr. Chicken still makes the best chicken. Hmm. I will not argue with that. You could try. But then I'll just take the chicken and run. <laughs> be kind of hard seeing as I'm kind of boxed in here, but I'll make the effort. Mr. Chicken's pretty much got this figured out. All right, so we're gonna finish the rest of our dinner and y'all will see us in a few seconds when we come back to do the next set of beer. So welcome back to another lovely day with another lovely meal of GMAC. We decided to stick with one chicken guy for the whole thing. He is our favorite, he is local, he's amazing. Go see Chicken Man. Hmm. We've got our lovely ball jar back, and we have the last of the three beers for this video. Now, the biggest name of the three is going to be Cloud. It's a fairly common one you'll see out in restaurants and on tap. And it is rich and smooth, according to the can. According to the can. We have Feel Good, Which or, is, or Feel Good. Chuck's, Chuck drinks that the most, probably. That's made by OB. That's made, this is made by OB, it says it on the can. <laughs> and this one is... A unique I, I, aromatic hop. I call it the best price to performance beer. It's not the best beer, but it's usually, it's not far off from the others and it's usually the cheapest. So what can I say? I'm a cheap drunk. <laughs> Are you saying that if we were back in the States, you'd be drinking the cheap beer? No, not entirely. No, you're not a cheap drunk. I, I can't, I can't do the Natty Light. I'm sorry. <laughs> And then there's this one, which, is, which I've never had. So. And I just saw it and was like, wow, okay, I'm going to get that. So we've got Hanmak, flavorful and crisp mm. from high quality homegrown Korean rice. So so it's rice beer. That's going to be last. Actually, that's probably going to be first. 
We also don't know if that works well with soju or not, but it's out of rice. So, That's... I mean, rice and rice ought to go together, right? We do have our shots of soju poured. Still the red cap, because, you know, that's how we roll here in this household for this video. So, we also this time decided to bring some skizzers in case we get some more ginormous chunks of chicken. So, get a pour going here. So, this one's a bit deeper of an amber than the some of the ones we had last time. It is a lager, if that makes any sense. It is, it, is, it is a lager, lager, not a pilsner, so that is ha a difference. Hanmok. It's good enough he needs a second sip there to figure out what he's tasting. It's probably rice. I haven't had one in a while to compare the taste, but I drink that and the first thing I think is yingling. Have you ever had yingling lager? It's got a bit of an aftertaste to it though that you wouldn't get from yingling, but that first taste on your tongue reminds me of that and then you get... You know what? Here's the interesting thing. If I was going to drink a beer, I would probably drink this beer. <laughs> It doesn't taste that bad. It, it doesn't. It's not. So for me, I don't drink a lot of beer because beer has that weird hoppy taste afterwards because it's made from hops. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not really into that. That weedy, hoppy kind of flavor profile doesn't do it for me. Now, some of the ones you have that have been like the orange beers, those have been different or the grapefruit. I can get with that. But when it's just smack you in the face with a bunch of hops, I don't really want to drink it. This doesn't smack you in the face with hops. This is kind of a lighter. Yeah. Well, it's more the difference in the the sharp bitey bit is I don't mind that. the sharp bitey bit is more common to a pilsner. That more smooth taste you get to this is more common in a lager. So, all right, let's 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 make, make sure, it so make, mac. Make sure we have the the right amount of soju to make you. Very important. We we screwed that up a little bit last time on some of them, and it was the soju was a bit strong. I wouldn't know. Still smells like beer. Does it taste extra ricey? Need a second sip of that? This one is almost as good as the OB as a as a Somac, but it's a different flavor. But it's also a different flavor than the beer was without the soju. It, it actually really com almost completely changes the taste of the beer. It does. It's more beery. Yeah, if that I makes any sense. I know that sounds weird. It tastes more like the beer. The th it tastes more like the hop stuff that I don't like in beer. Whereas the OB... When they melted together, it melded out some of that harshness of the OB beer flavor. The soju actually brought it down and made it more something I would drink. I would drink that without the soju, but with the soju, it's a little too much for me. So, whereas I think the beer has a little bit strong of an aftertaste, and the soju kills that. There's the almost, there's that, the aftertaste is gone. But it does make it taste a little more pilsnery, so. Let's have some chi for our chi mech. Put some ketchup on it because Mr. Chicken just knows how to fry chicken. So, as I set the Korean specific beer, rice beer, off to the side, it occurs to me that one of the ones that we sometimes see around here that we didn't get for this thing was the Jeju beer. Mm, we did not. So, Jeju Island. Should I have gotten that? Well, if we'd have thought about Should it. Should we make this run down to the CU and see if they have it? <laughs> but Jeju Island has their own their own kind of their own brand of beer i but mean technically we could grab one and have one tomorrow and just not have it with chicken okay. stay tuned we'll find out will there be jeju beer or not on to the feel good this is time to feel good which also is if i remember correctly a slightly stronger oh, actually it? it's actually it's the weakest of these three but i think generally it's slightly stronger than most of the other ones i think the other ones are like four or 4.2 alcohol by volume this is 4.5 in case anybody was wondering, the rice beer says 4.6 and Cloud says 5, so. I like how he smelled that one like he hasn't been drinking that one before. I smell almost everything I eat before I eat it. It's not like I sm expect it to smell like anything other than beer, but <laughs> it's just a habit. This, like the OB, since it's similar to OB, reminds me more of like a, like a Miller Lite. I smell it because I don't drink beer and I want to know what it smells like before I drink it. But there is a little bit, a little bit of a difference in the taste from it and the OB. <laughs> and I'm trying to come up with a comparison as to like what it would be. But if you've ever had like the same dish, okay, like a curry. If you've ever had like a curry and you eat it the night you make it and then you try it 
the day after you make it. The one the day after is usually a little bit better. It's a little bit smoother. It's a little bit more matured flavor. The younger one is usually a bit sharper. So this is the younger one? This is probably the younger one, yeah. So make it. Let's see if it does as well with soju as OB did. <laughs> as its older brother does. It's also a good palate cleanser, so. I'm checking to make sure that's not just a proportion difference. Okay, it starts off almost as smooth a Somac as the OB makes, but you can taste the, the soju a little more on the, on the back end. But so it does not meld as well as it's, the OB it's, did. It's almost as good. It's like 90%. It's just on the on the back end of your tongue. You can tell it's a it, it varies a little. It's not bad. Like I said, it's not bad. It's just slightly different. It's just enough that you can tell it's. I think I like the Ob one a little bit better because it was a little smoother. And if I had to choose between feel good and the rice beer, I'd go rice beer today. Mm. The main difference wind up being like if you go in the market and you're looking for a like a six pack of Feel Good or a six pack of OB. The OB is usually like eight or 9,000 won. The Feel Good is usually like five. What can I say? I'm cheap. <laughs> well, to be fair, we have a pretty substantial liquor cabinet. People keep giving us liquor and we don't generally drink a lot of it. <laughs> we don't drink nearly as much as everyone thinks we should. Maybe we should start. <laughs> All right, so Cloud. Cloud. Is rich and smooth. Here we go. So we're back in the Pilsner realm. Nice light-ish <laughs> urinary color. I was going to say, every time you hold up the beer, all I can think is, it looks like somebody just had a really, really frothy pee. <laughs> and needs to drink more water. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Hydrate, my dude. <laughs> so, yeah, this one, Cloud is one of my least favorites of the bunch. It's a bit IPA-ish. The worst part is, is I bought him too. I bought him the original and the draft. And the draft one, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Doesn't mean I won't drink it. It's just, <laughs> it's just not one I go out of my way to get normally. So this one does have that, that hoppy IPA bite to it. It has a hoppy smell to it. Oh, and it's the very first flavor. Not my favorite. Let's see if Soju can fix it. <laughs> it's bad when you're asking Soju to work that hard, right? Does it need more soju? It's less IPA-ish. Not a lot. You can still smell it. It's not terrible with the soju. The soju actually calms down some of that. It, it does. Smack you it, in the face hops. It does bring it down a bit. But I still, out of all of them so far, definitely the OB for me. And Sookie, apparently, <laughs> with the soju. Suki is right under my chair and she is whining. You're not getting beer, Suki. Yeah, so for me, OB mixes the best with the soju and beer-wise, tasting the beer so far, I think th the rice beer is my favorite. Okay, so quick addendum. I ran down to the store and fortunately our local CU had the Jeju Beer Company Jeju Wit Ale. Fortunately, I still had some soju red cap left that we can pour. Let's open some Jeju Wit Ale. And I'm assuming that this is probably a pale ale, obviously because it's a rather pale color. And it says ale on the can of it. Don't you love my deductive reasoning? You're pretty good at that. That's a lot of head, baby. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you supposed to drink it with the head in it? The skin oil from your fingers causes the foam to start bubbling. You notice, notice it faster with soda. The beer head didn't go down near as much or as fast. It's my turn. Or you need another sip. Alright, so pale ale color. Which means dude has hydrated a little bit before <laughs> this time. I feel like I should put a pea chart up here. That is marginally smooth. And it's a pretty good imitation of a Belgian white. It's got a little more citrusy kick on the back end. And that makes a bit of sense for Jeju because one of the things they're famous for is their Jeju 
oranges. This tangerines. definitely reminds me of the Belgian white. It's like Belgian white with a little more citrus on the back end. It's good. It's not bad. I don't mind that one. All right. Let's so make it. Mmm, so make it. <laughs> I don't know why I expect it to smell different. Sookie dog. Hmm. Mm hmm. Get a little swirl, make sure it's mixed together and I'm not just missing stuff. So I don't really taste the soju in it, but it both makes the beer taste less and then more, if that makes any sense. And you take a drink of it, it tastes like it's smoothed it out a lot, and then that Belgian white flavor kicks you in the teeth. See what I mean? I don't like it with the soju in it. It's like the soju mixed into it, but the soju amplified the kick versus improving. So basically the soju came in, it kicked some ass, and then that tangerine and ale part was like, oh hell no, and it came back and it overpowered that and it was like, you're in here, but you're, you're staying under. This is a glass of alcohol gang war. <laughs> Because it quiets down in the beginning because everybody's nervous. Except for Sookie. Except for Sookie Dog. And then it comes in with the, the row from one side and then the other side retaliates. So. This is gang war beer, apparently. I would recommend the beer more than I would the Somac. So. I don't know. Drink, eat some chicken. Eat, eat some chicken. And then so, drink some beer and see if the chicken helps improve the flavor. So we're going to have the cheese Somac. Mmm. If we mention this is just damn good chicken, and even if we have, I feel like it bears repeating. Yeah, don't get me wrong, they're good pretty much any day of the week, but for some reason they are on their game tonight. This is one of the best things of chicken I have had in a while, and this is before I started drinking. <laughs> but they hitting hard tonight. They on the game. <laughs> okay, what does that look? Take a sip. Chase it. Chase the, the the fried chicken with it. Oh gosh. That's even stronger. Weird. I thought it tasted like it, the the fried chicken crunchies in your mouth. Like smoothed it out. Not for me it didn't. Mm. So obviously part of the thing of chi mac is the intermixing of the chicken and the beer. So chi so mac would be the intermixing of the chicken and the so mac. But the chicken actually makes a difference in the taste of the beer. It does. That that actually tasted like the gang war. The chicken went in there and said, no, y'all all my bitches. Yeah, I think the chicken won. Which very well it should, because that's some damn good chicken. I mean, that's my opinion. Mm. So, I'm thinking, and Sookie apparently agrees, that we're going to eat some chicken. chicken, maybe finish a little bit of beer. The next time you're out having dinner with somebody and you happen to be in like a ch chicken in a Korean fried chicken place, astound them with your knowledge of mechju. There's your Korean knowledge for the day. We'll see y'all around. Have fun. We got chicken to eat.